So, I was going to wait till I got back to the motorcycle, but I, I want to get a nice ride in before it gets dark, so uh, I'm going to make this video. It's another motorcycle chat video. If you're familiar with these, uh, I get a little political talk about topics that uh, and how I feel about them, so if you want to turn this video off right now, that's fine. Let's just whip around so you can enjoy the scenery. <clears throat> so, uh, first thing... I want to weigh in on the uh, the whole Georgia uh, election thing. You, you realize that those laws that Georgia passed are more liberal than uh, than Delaware and New York. <laughs> but if you say that to a, a a Democrat or a liberal, they said, "Oh no!" I said, "Well, have you read? The, the, do you know what's in the uh, the law?" And then you start telling them. You know, you say, "Well, first off, it extends the uh, the pre-election voting." window for people to vote it uh it just uh, for as far as the the mail-in ballots it just tightens that up a bit with the uh, signature verification and id an id law where you can get an id in georgia for free uh if you don't have one but i would imagine that everybody does because you need an id to fly you need an id to get in a baseball game you need an id you need an id for just about everything except the, they're you know so they're fighting georgia saying you don't need an id to vote uh, as far as, uh, you know, giving out food and water, you know, oh, you can't even drink water because you're going to be in line for eight hours. That's not true. The poll workers can hand out food and water. Uh, they just don't want uh, candidates coming in there and buying votes, you know, and give somebody, hey, here's a prime rib steak if you'll vote for uh, Joe Biden, <laughs> you know, I mean, just, and that's what they were doing. And uh, so Georgia said, you know, they wanted to make that illegal. But if you want to bring some water with you, and uh, as you stand, if you stand in line, I mean, since the voting window has been extended and you vote by ballot ahead of time, you, you don't need to stand in line. So anyway, this it's just a stupidity, you know. So now, you know, what, what do we got? We got Woca-Cola. Uh, get woke, go broke. So, you know, I like diet, Dr. Pepper. I'm pretty sure that's Coca-Cola product. Uh, I got to check that on the, the Internet because I think they bought out uh, the um, uh, Dr. Pepper. So... What will I do? I'll drink Diet Pepsi instead. You know, so I don't need, you know, plus Coke is bad for you anyway. I'm a cancer survivor. You can't have high fructose corn syrup. So, uh, you know, that's one thing that I got to do is, uh, you know, I got to stay away from any soft drinks. And that's why I drink Diet Dr. Pepper. I don't drink the regular. Uh, now, if I can find a soft drink that's got sugar instead of high fructose corn syrup, I can drink that, you know. And once upon a time, they were making Dr. Pepper with real sugar. I don't know why they got away from it. So, because the doctor says it's a complex molecule, and the body takes a little bit of energy to uh, process uh, sugar. So I can't have sugar in my diet, and not in huge quantities, of course. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't drink, you know, ten Dr. Peppers a day <laughs> you know, when it had when it had sugar. Nor do I drink ten diet Dr. Peppers because those aren't good for you either. So that's the first thing. Uh, Major League Baseball. I never watched much of that anyway. So that's an easy one to boycott. So, uh, you know, because uh, who wants your sports? Weighing in on politics. You know, the reason why I used to watch the playoffs in, in Major League Baseball was to get away from my, you know, my miserable life because I was working, you know, 60 hours a week and just lose yourself in the, in the game and, you know, watch the strategy and everything. You know, same with football. I loved watching football. But now, you know, they got political. You know, staying in the locker room, not even sta or standing up for the, the national anthem. So now... Phew, don't watch NFL football. So these organizations, you know, I don't understand why they're being un-American and political when really they're just there to entertain people and make money. It seems like they don't want to make money. Of course, now what they did, right before Major League Baseball pulled out of Georgia, they signed a contract with Communist China. So they're saying it's okay to torture people and put them in cages in China but they, you know, but they don't want to make money off of that slavery. They're going to make money off of slavery. We abolished slavery here in the United States. You know, China has slavery. So you got the NBA over there doing a lot of business. You know, my my philosophy is move the whole damn franchises all the overseas. Let them all live in China. You know, just kick them out of the United States. As far as I'm concerned, if they if they want to do business with China. And, 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 you know, tell Georgia they can't have voter ID laws that uh, make sense, then, you know, just get the hell out of the United States. That's how I feel about it. So, you know, I just wanted to give a motorcycle chat. Here's the motorcycle. 
always a welcome sight. Uh, so we'll turn around and keep going. I don't, you know, want to just stand there uh, and put the stand up. Boy, I get that. Look at that sun. Woo hoo! That's why I love hiking and riding in the evenings. Beautiful. So hey, we'll go this way. I haven't been this way. Let's see where this goes real quick. This looks kind of like a trail. I didn't even see this coming in. Wow. Uh, so I, okay. So, yeah, you know, definitely be back here for hiking for sure. Uh, so that's you know that's two things I wanted to weigh in on was Georgia and uh, Woka Cola. Uh, by the way, uh, you know here's another one that's that's good. I mean, uh, and, and the liberals they thought it was great when uh, Amazon, Google, and uh, uh, Apple took down Parler. Okay, you know they just took it down. You know, free speech. And remember when they were saying beforehand, oh, you know what? If you if you don't like uh, tweet and Facebook, you know, form your own uh, social media outlet and uh, they did with parlor and so what did the big uh, conglomerates you know uh, do they they took them down they didn't want free speech but anyway i wanted to tell you parlor is back alive parlor.com p-a-r-l-e-r.com -E um, and it's it's back uh 100 if you if you go there you they also have an android app now that you can use uh, you know you're not going to be able to get it from the the google store uh but you can get it from Parler. I haven't put it on my phone, so I can't attest to how the app works. I just use Parler on my computer. All my followers are back. You know, I got 5,500 followers there, uh, which is not a lot, you know, but uh, still, you know, I like the fact that they might be interested in what I have to say. And that's why I do these motorcycle chats, because I just want to weigh in on things a little bit, you know. So now, you know, uh, people who want free speech, and don't want to worry about getting kicked off of a fake book or getting kicked off of tweet. Uh, you know, of course, I'll probably get <laughs> kicked off of YouTube at some point. Uh, I, but I post these on Rumble, too. And I haven't been following along on Rumble the way I should. But I do have everything backed up. So if part, uh, when YouTube does break, take me down, I'll just uh, make sure I get everything over there. That's uh, the platform. I know that uh, there's other ones out there, Telegram and, uh, um, well, the... Viva Barnes, they're on Locals, and, uh, they, you know, there's a number of places that you can go to get your videos up, so I'll do that eventually, probably, but uh, for now, I, you know, I still like YouTube, and I still get a lot of information from it, and uh, until they go completely woke and, and kick everybody off that has a voice, uh, I'll just continue posting there. So, uh, anyway, that's, uh, that was another thing I wanted to talk about. So, uh, I guess that's probably about it today. Boy, look at this. This would be a this would be a nice trail to come back and hike. It's just kind of moving along the roads. The road's right over here. Uh, you know, there's a plane flying over. Um, so uh, I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm going to kill the video right there because I, I don't know what the other things were that I, oh, the uh, HR1. Now there's a, you know, let's have Washington, D.C. tell people what their voter uh, laws should be and take away a uh, voter ID. The only country in the world, by the way, the only country in the world would, that would not have voter ID requirements, that, that has voting anyway. You know, go to Venezuela, you know, <laughs> that's a totalitarian rule. Go to China, go, oh yeah, try to cast a vote in China. Yeah, that would be good for you, you know. So, so we are, and I think that's where we're heading, you know. We're gonna be a communist nation here soon, uh, especially once they, they, they devalue the dollar and uh, everything crashes. And by the way, stock market, new highs today, huh? You know that's uh, that's just silly. You know if you got your money in the stock market, you're you're gambling with a casino. Oh, here was a here was another one. You know, so I'm out with my little friends, and they got to they switched over to Georgia, and you know, it's no use arguing with them. You know, and I was you know I just told them, you know I just punch in a little bit. And I said, well, I mean I think voter ID is a good thing. You know, you just kind of punch in like that. But uh, here's here's what the you know and I I, I play golf with the guy. You know, if I had. Uh, can some conservatives to play golf with you <laughs> probably would but uh, and he's okay I, I he's a friend of mine i mean but i mean the stuff that comes out of his mouth sometimes he's bragging about the fact that there was a trump supporter at a restaurant and the guy had a bunch of trump trump 2024 hat on and stuff like that and so he comes over and he's going to harass the guy and he's bragging about it and uh, you know if somebody had a biden shirt on i'm not going to say anything to him i don't care i don't you know i don't probably wouldn't want to talk to him but I'm not going to harass him. So he comes over and he goes, hey, buddy, you know, you know that Trump lost, man. You know, you're going to wear all that Trump gear now? He said, there ain't even an election until three more years. 
you know, Biden's your president. And the guy, you know, of course he fought back and there an argument ensued. Now, why did, why did he attack the guy? That's just silly, you know, and that's what liberals do. They just can't stand other people have an opinion about something that doesn't agree with their point of view. Yeah, I don't care if the guy's wearing a Trump hat. Now, I'm not going to go out and antagonize people by wearing a Trump hat. I don't think Trump wants that. He didn't want me, you know, some liberal starting a fight with me just because I want to, you know, say, hey, I, I liked the job that Trump did as a president. And do I want Trump to run again in 2024? Not really. I like Christy Noem, you know, or DeSantis. I mean, those are my two favorites, but there's a lot of Republicans that I think would make a good president. And I just don't think, you know, I think Trump's just too controversial. He'd be a great president. You know, maybe if you got him in there, he'd you know, get him into the cabinet, uh, you know, as, as chief of staff or something like that, and, you know, put Trump in there. I think he would he'd be a big help to whoever became president. But I think, you know, it'd be for the for Republican ticket to to win, you know, I think that we need a Christy Noem. She is just fantastic. I, that woman is so articulate, so intelligent, and uh, has done such a good job with South Dakota. And boy, you talk to a liberal and say, well, I say, I like, and of course, Tulsi Gabbard, she's a Democrat. She would run for president. I would vote for her in a second. Man, I like her. I, you know, she's on Parlor. Hey, there you go. You know, Parlor's not just for conservatives. It's for, for, um, everybody you know so you got Tulsi Gabbard on there she posts some good stuff some you know plays in on a few things and, you know that doesn't agree with the left on a lot of things and doesn't agree with the right you know but I value her opinion and I haven't seen anything that would not make me vote for her you know so there you go I'd vote for a Democrat if she ran so uh anyway just saying you know I'm a conservative independent I'm not you know a Republican now I'm definitely a Trump you know patriot party Republican, if that's the way the party goes. Uh, but right now, you know, there's too many rhinos in the party that, uh, you know, are just part of the, the swamp, as we like to call it. So I guess that's it. I, I've spoke out enough, you know, try to get a little controversial with these videos. But I mean, just all these things just make sense to me. And I don't know why, you know, my liberal friends think that, you know, they're going to accost a guy wearing a Trump hat or, you know, say that the voter laws and Georgia are too restrictive. They're not, re they're less restrictive than Delaware. You know, and then you point out how the Democrat city, states and cities have been destroyed. So, you know, I told him uh, there was a kid there from at this uh, weird pizza party. He's from Austin, Texas. And I said, I hear Austin, Texas is booming. And he says, God almighty. He says, yeah, there's so many people moving into Austin. And he says, the city, you know, he says, it's just getting crowded and uh, traffic's bad. I said, I said, to what they, I said, they're all coming from California, right? And he goes, yeah, yeah, most, uh, most of them are from California. And, you know, and then you want to point out, well, hey, hey, everybody, hey, you're at the pizza party. What's California? It's a Democrat state. Where are they moving to? A Republican state. Hmm, what does that mean? Does that mean life is so bad in a Democrat state and it's being run so poorly and is so corrupt that everybody wants to get the hell out and move to a Republican state? What does that mean? Does that mean a, a Democrat is running that state into the ground? How about uh, Como? Let's look at that situation. You know, there, all these women are coming out for saying, uh, oh yeah, he, he fondled me. Who gives a flying leap about that? I'm worried more, much more concerned that he put all those uh, COVID patients in the doggone, you know, in nursing homes and killed them by the thousands. It's genocide. He basically commit genocide on the senior population of New York. Now that's a that's a war crime. That son of a gun. That's what he goes needs to go to jail for. Not because he fondled some woman or kissed her or whatever. You know, from what I understand, he's never beat up a woman. You know, he's never uh, uh, you know ripped their clothes off or anything. I haven't heard any of that in the charges. Maybe he looked at them wrong. You know, who gives a flying leap about that? It's the fact that he put all those people in the nursing homes and killed them by the thousands. So the media, oh, they won't mention that. Oh, heck no. They're not gonna say a word about the fact. And then you got, see the same thing happened in, in um, Michigan. And uh, that was another Democrat state. Uh, Whit Whitmer, that idiot Whitmer did the same thing, put the people with COVID in, in the nursing homes. Um, I think Pennsylvania did too, another Democrat state. So, I mean, these are, the, these are war crimes. And, and Trump was right there with the field hospitals and everything. Now he didn't even use them in New York. 
you know, put the hospital ship there. The media doesn't even mention that. You, you'll never hear a word about that hospital ship being parked off the uh, coast of uh, California. So uh, I guess that's it for the motorcycle chat of the day. I'm back here. Let's get riding. I got to show you just kind of, you know, like I said, once again, saw nobody on the trail. But look at this. I love being out here. That's the Ocala National Forest. So I'll be, uh, if you take this road, it goes up to 42, which is kind of a main road. I thought about it, and that's a quick way home. But if you go this way, it just goes out into the country. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to enjoy the ride home. Peace out, guys. I'll post this up tonight because it's easy. You know, one, one long video. I don't, even, I don't even process it with DaVinci because it's not. I don't have a bunch of clips to put together. Later.